<sighs> Sorry, I had to no, no. take the camera off for a minute because I'm pr I was pretty sure that was going to come back up, and I didn't need to do that in front of the camera, but it didn't come back up. I'm very thankful. Um, and I'll do the rest of that later today. James's dad um, is 96 years old, and he eats horseradish and onions every day. Might be just a coincidence. Why not? And every time I'd plant a garden, he'd say, did you plant horseradish? And I'd be like, no. And yeah. thinking in my head, hell no. Mm -hmm. But I've thought recently, he's 96 years old. Mm. My back must be feeling pretty good. Mm -hmm. mm able to sit with my knees up. Mm. Nothing like Granny Smith. And that's good. Yeah, I can't understand. Again, yet I love pears. It's amazing how different people's taste buds are. Yep, and your dad likes horseradish. Some or another. He used to like rotten milk. Really? Well, sour milk. Like sour cream? Sour milk. And, uh, Is that even a thing? Mm -hmm. Some or another got it. What in the and, world kind of ancestry passed that on? I don't know if he had, I think he had yogurt sometime. What are some of those other disgusting things? I like yogurt. Okay. I just don't eat it anymore. Rotten milk products. I guess really cheese is, but... Anyway, I'm continuing on with the Ty Bollinger series. Jenny Herbasic? How do you say that? There's way too many consonants in that name. Rabbit sex, something like that. That's it. RN, breast cancer survivor. Cancer Free, Are You Sure? is a book she wrote with a really long title. It's not just that, it's blah, 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 blah. Um, but if you put that into a keyword search, I bet you it'll come up. She was told she was in remission she did surgery and reconstruction. She started to su she started a support group and figured out that half the women had a recurrence. She fired two oncologists and went to a naturopath in Dallas. She wanted to make sure she was cancer free before he started to build. Oh, he wanted to make sure that she was cancer free before he started to build up her immune system. So he tested her blood for circulating tumor cell. Uh, research genetic cancer center in Greece, CDC count. Any tumor over two millimeters has blood perfusion. Her tumor markers had went up a little bit. Um, cell search, circulating tumor test by Johnson and Johnson, and at the same time a test result came back from Greece. 14.2 uh, cancer cells per cc of her blood. Uh, intravenous uh, vitamin C and curcumin she was doing. Um, insurance will only pay for the cell search test, the Johnson Johnson one, if you have an indicator that you've had a metastatic, metastatic, metastatic lesion, so breast or prostate cancer. They'll only pay for it if it's too late, basically. So her test came back and the results were zero from the Johnson & Johnson, which obviously was not very accurate. So they won't do this test, they won't pay for this test unless it's too late, and then you get the test result back and it's not very accurate. So, oncologist number two told her she was fine. She went to a conference designed mainly for physicians, one booth for Oncoblot, find cancers years before it will show up on a PET scan, red drop thiamine chinase test, an enzyme put out when cancer cells replicate to find cancer long before conventional. 
She found nine tests and wrote about them. CA profile plus a simple colon occult test drop in toilet will with stool. It'll show if you have blood in your stool. So you just put a drop in the toilet. Um, because you can't necessarily see if you have blood in your stool. So this helps you out. Um, and it's only $20 and can be ordered on the internet. Early CBD test for lung cancer. Uh, they'll bill insurance company for that one if you've been a smoker. So you just have to let them know, yeah, I smoke 20 packs a day. If you've and been da, a da, smoker. Da, da. And, yeah, and they'll pay special. for it. Oh. Yep. So um, that one just asks for the early CBD test if you've been a smoker. Uh, Dr. No Navarro Smoke a pack of cigarettes in your just before you go in. Yeah, and say Dr. Navarro HGC test $55 um, acetone, <coughs> coffee filter, alcohol and a spoon stamp to go to Philippines $85 test called Nagalase test. Nagalase shuts down immune system so cancer can go undetected. Oncoblot, that test will even tell you what kind of cancer it will be. Pap and HPV <coughs> tests, red drop, research genetic cancer center, sensitivity testing to see which chemo would work best for you. Cancer cell, like that's a good thing to do before you d agree to a certain kind of chemo. Like it, it may not even be right for you. Yeah, I know. Uh, cancer cell has more insulin receptors than normal cell, radioactive glucose injection. Um, you're radioactive when they do that. Um, and the cancer cells light up. So we've heard about that one in the thing before. Trina Hammock, Hope for Cancer, diagnosed with cancer 2008. <coughs> it felt like there was a bubble in her belly, she said. Stage 4 ovarian cancer. Uh, she'd healed herself from Lyme disease five years before. She'd been sending her clients to Hope for Cancer. She knew Tony and suggested, um, he suggested surgery and wanted the pathology report when she got it back. And so, um, anyway, she had a melon-sized tumor. He created a home program for her, sauna, photo, dynamic therapy, light treatment one hour, and bathtub ultrasound treatment. First, you ingest a chlorophyll agent in dark and let it seed itself in the cancer in the body. Wait 48 hours and then start treatment. Bubbly feeling throughout her body. Um, and they were talking about it and they figured it was the cancer cells bursting is how she felt bubbly, but it was different. Eh? But you don't know. Anyway, that's what she was feeling like when with the treatment. And she'd go out in her outdoor bathtub for ultrasound treatment no matter what the weather was. And um, she also did urine therapy, uh, which um, Dr. Tony made her injections from her urine, and we've heard about that before. Um, it took six months for the program, but she felt so good on it that she did it for a year. Uh, prognosis she'd been given by conventional wasn't good, so she's glad she went this route. She's been in remission seven years now, and she wouldn't have gotten that from conventional. So, uh, one of her surgeons was open to what she was doing. She thinks hope for cancer is the best option for people uh, with cancer. And it seems a lot of people seem to really like that one. It's just you you have to sell your house in order to go there. So. Yeah. Well, I got to go in. The sun's bothering my eyes. Oh, I know. You too? Mm. No, that stuff made me heat up to about a thousand degrees when I sipped it back. Uh, mm. You too? No, I didn't drink that much of it. I was still walking around. Yeah. Ouch.